detectors used in gas chromatography detector is the third and final major component that end encounter after injector and column we know that there are three basic component of a chromatographic system one is known as injector second one is column and third one is detector so what is detector detector is a device used in gc and lc to detect component of a mixture being eluted off from the chromatographic column we know that the sample is being injected through injector into column and from column these are eluted off with the help of mobile phase and it will move towards the detector so it is a device used to detect component of a mixture that is coming from the column a detector takes the advantage of the principle that certain physical and chemical property of the sample differ from the mobile phase we are using mobile phase as well as sample so there are there are some difference of physical and chemical property between mobile phase and sample so this change in the property will produce an electrical signal that is proportional to either the concentration or mass flow rate of the inert molecule in the effluent stream and that change in or that change or that signal is displayed in the form of a chromatogram detectors are classified into different categories based on response time response characteristic sample variation and selection performance so first one is classification by response time two categories are there integral detector and differential detector integral detector display the accumulation of physical quantity over time which mean that it will display the total amount of material that is emerging from the column at a given time while in case of differential detector it will show the variation of a physical quantity over time which mean that it will display the variation or change at in, uh, at each instant uh, of a material at a given time classification by response characteristic two categories are there concentration based detector and mass flow detector in case of concentration based detector it will measure the instantaneous changes in the concentration of the component in the carrier gas which mean the signal is related to the concentration of the solute while in case of mass flow detector it will measure the change in the rate at which the solute component is carried by the carrier gas which mean that the signal is related to the rate at which the solute materials enters the detector if the flow of anode is in effluent gas stop in this case the detector quickly destroy whatever is in the cell and signal drops to zero while in case of concentration based detector concentration measurement can continue for as long as the anode continue to reside in the detector without dropping the signal to zero either it will obtain a constant signal but it will not drop the signal to zero while in case of mass flow detector if the mass flow is uh, destroy if the mass flow is stop then the detector signal will be zero classification by sample variation two categories are there destruction detector and non destructive detector as the name indicate during the detection process the measured substance undergo irreversible changes in case of destruction detector while in case of non destructive detector the measured material does not undergo irreversible change fourth category is classification by selection performance one is multi purpose or universal detector and the second one is specialized detector or selective detector universal detector is a detector that has response signal for many type of substances and it is also known as multi purpose detector 
while in case of selective detector or specialized detector it will produce a signal only for some type of substances or little or no responses signal for other it has response signal for a specified uh, analyte while it has response signal for a variety of analytes detectors used in gc that is flame ionization detector thermal conductivity detector electron capture detector ion barrier discharge ionization detector photo ionization detector nitrogen phosphorus detector thermi ionic ionization detector sulfur chemoluminescence detector and flame photometric detector these these are too many detectors so we will discuss only two type first two types in part first of the lecture the other three type in part second of lecture and the last four types in part third of the lecture so first one is flame ionization detector fid fid is the most commonly used detector in jc the fid is sensitive to and capable of detecting compound that contain carbon atom which account for almost all organic compound we know that the carbon is the major component of all organic compound so we can say that fid can be used for all organic compound but there are some exceptional cases that is it is not sensitive to carbon atom with double bond to oxygen such as carbonyl carbon and carboxyl group so we will look at this structure this is formaldehyde in formaldehyde carbon has carbon double bond o so the fid is not sensitive to this carbon in case of acetaldehyde the fid is not sensitive to carbon double bond o but it is sensitive to ch3 that does not have carbon double bond with oxygen the basic principle of the fid is the sample component carried into the detector by carrier gas is oxidized by the hydrogen flame hydrogen flame is produced by the fuel and oxidant here the fuel is hydrogen and air is oxygen so it when it is combusted it will produce a hydrogen flame it will cause the ionization reaction and these ions that are attracted by the collector electrode where the components are detected it is nearly universal type of detector destructive and mass flow detector detection limit is 0.1 ppm or 0.1 nanogram per liter main applications are as already told you that it uh, it can uh, be used for the detection of all organic compound except some organic compound working of fid the elevate that is coming from the column it will combine with hydrogen flame the hydrogen flame is produced by the mixing of fuel and oxidant here hydrogen act as a fuel and air act as an oxidant so hydrogen and air when it will combine it will produce a hydrogen flame and the elevate coming from the column it will it will come towards the flame and it will produce a combustion mixture now the flame provides energy to the ionized component so low energy is required for carbon containing compound or first a group the gaseous cation that are produced in this area that are attracted towards the collector electrode that is cathode that has minus charge because here the cation are produced cation has positive charge so the collector electrode should have negative charge that is cathode and the current will start flowing when these cations strikes on the cathode which is then amplified and recorded that will represent the number of analyte in the uh, that is coming from the column so the current flow that is produced when the cation strikes on the cathode it will it will depend upon the number of ions striking 
which in turn will depend upon the concentration of sample if there is more concentration sample which mean that there will be more number of ions more number of cation will be produced and more current will be flowing so the number of positive ions that are cation that are produced from the carbon mixture it is proportional to the carbon atom so the rotator response increases when there is increase in the carbon atom so the organic matter is burned in the hydrogen flame of which several ppm of the organic matter burn into ions that are shown below so it is a hydrocarbon mixture when it is combusted it will produce a cation and electrons are produced and here it is cn carbon having nitrogen when it is burned it will produce cation carbon monoxide and electrons now this cation will move towards the collector electrode and it will be amplified second is thermal conductivity detector tcd can detect all compound other than carrier gas tcd is mainly used to detect inorganic gas and components that fid is not sensitive to fid cannot detect some of the organic compound so this compound can be easily detected using tcd the principle of tcd is that it will detect target compound by reading a change in the filament temperature that is caused by the difference in thermal conductivity between the carrier gas and target component it is universal non destructive concentration detector detection limit is 10 ppm or 10 nanogram per liter main application are water formaldehyde and formic acid analysis analysis of all other organic compounds for working of tcd we will consider an assembly that looks like wheatstone bridge so a direct voltage is applied between point a and b when only carrier gas is flowing at a constant flow rate so first we will introduce a carrier gas in reference chamber as well as in sample chamber and it is flowing at a constant flow rate so the carrier gas is same so it will face same resistance or we can say that there will be no change in filament temperature or there will be no net change in the filament resistance so we can say that the constant voltage will be recorded between c and d now when the sample component are eluded from the analysis side column so we will introduce the sample component in the sample chamber and reference in the reference chamber now it is eluded from the analysis side chamber a change in the filament temperature occur because the sample and uh, sample will face the change resistor as compared to the filament filament temperature or filament resistor faced by the uh, reference gas so uh, there will be a change in the filament uh, resistance that will result from the change in the thermal conductivity of the sample component and the carrier gas and that changes the voltage between c and d which mean that the wheatstone bridge will be imbalanced and that change will be recorded and amplified <laughs>